<laughs> Here we go. Bing. Perfect. Right. Back to the Spyro painting. Where were we? Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. Dancing off a tailgate in the full moon. Kind of thing makes a man go mm -mm. La da da da. Looking so good on what's left of those blue jeans. Looking, honey, on a da 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 The best thing I'm ever gonna find. I'm a little drunk on you and high on summertime. Hola! Happy New Year, guys. Eduardo. Happy New Year. Look after yourself and. I can't pronounce that. Is that Bavili? Bavili? I'm close enough. And Valentine. Hello, guys. Three names I. that are new to me. But you're all very welcome here. And Obese Dream. Is that Spyro? Eduardo? Yes, it is. And I am going to be attacking him with some oil paints. How wild is that? <clears throat> it's not that wild. It's just a. Another medium of paint, but we're going to have some fun doing it if I can get some white paint out. There we go. So, 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 there's a little bit of this too. A little bit of dark grey, perfect. And I'm thinking I might do a little bit, a little bit of toning. We'll see how we go. Thanks, adult violin learner. Good to have you back. Happy New Year. Hi from Montreal, Happy New Year to you too, Happy New Year to everyone. If you're not on New Year's or if you're on the day of New Year's, it's New Zealand here. And in New Zealand, it is the 1st of January, 11 days before my birthday, and a fantastic time to be alive. What a time. I'm excited, you're excited, I hope you're excited, we're all excited. We're going to lift this up a wee bit. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom, dancing on the tailgate in the full moon. Um, the reason we'll lift it up, guys, if you're working here, hangover? No, hoo -hoo, I'm a very sensible boy. So, thanks for sharing the live too, guys. And I did watch some fireworks. I had a good, good time. Um, right, if I paint down too low like this, look at my hand here. See how it's slightly pinched? It makes it hard to land a good brush stroke. And so the lowest place you want it is when your hand hits the sort of 45 there. Unless you've got good knees and you can keep bending down. But that's not my vibe today. We won't be doing that. So we're going to come up to here. Like I say, see that? See that angle there? Whoa. Whoa Don't let your stuff fall over. You'll look stupid in front of everyone. So there we go. 45. And just bring these up to it. Well, as I see what's happening here. I'm going to get this sorted, and then I'm going to tighten up that thing. And we'll fix this little niggly problem that I'm having. Here we go. Here's one. Spyro is doing his best to fly away, but we won't let him. There we go. Now what's happening is this has come loose. There we go. Now we're sorted. Good thing about this artwork though, guys, is it's indestructible. If it falls over on this board here, it'll take any shot. There we go. Now, before I made a fool of myself and almost lost everything, uh, it's not technically a commission piece. No, it's not at all, actually. It's um, Lucy, one of the moderators, wanted Spyro. So we're here doing Spyro. Right. Hand. See that? If I drop too low, it's going to pinch the brush and my brush strokes get weird. That sometimes where the bottom of the canvas and the corners sometimes looks a little funky. But if I have a 45 there, it's easy to get here. And it's all the way up here. It's more of a shoulder workout. But it's uh, overall, I reckon it's easier. There we go. All right. We've got ourselves some delightful purple. Spyro purple. And we're just going to add that purple into where we think it goes. Um, the key thing with this sort of painting, guys, is we're not, 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 not going to get hung up on making sure it's exact. I do want the paint to look nice and wet and hit the canvas looking nice, but I'm really not fussy about where it hits the canvas. We're more on the vibe of making sure 
it just looks nice, regardless. Regardless of what it actually looks like in the overall picture. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. Dancing on the tailgate in the full moon. Kind of thing makes a man go, mm, mm. La, dun, dun, dun. Looking so good in what's left of those blue jeans. Um, thank you very much, Oscar David, for sharing the live. I appreciate it. Every time you do that, um, the only reason I'm here is to make some art and spread some love. So... If you want to be part of that, then sharing it spreads the love. So, thank you so much. Um, and Stephanie. Stephanie Stephens. Wild name. Um, Happy New Year to you, Steve. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was actually up at uh, 7.30, but I gave the first hour of the day to Shelby. Um, made her a coffee and all that sort of carry on. And now I'm here, painting away. Um, love from Scotland. Yeah. Steve, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Hetty, happy new year. Welcome to 2023. And what a wild year it has been so far. No, it hasn't. Nothing's happened. I got Shelby a cup of coffee, and I've started painting a Spyro. I'm putting purple on Spyro. How wild is that? New year, spunky. Do you get those, uh, blah, 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 blah. I should be, ha, <laughs> ha. Well, Damon, you can do whatever you like to do, mate. It's a new year. It's 2023. So if you want to be a painter, start now. Well, I mean, you could have started yesterday. You can start whenever you want to start. Don't listen to some random Kiwi putting arbitrary rules on when you can start. How ridiculous is that? Ignore that, Kiwi. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. It's a song by uh, Luke Bryan. It's a country song. It's a great song. Luke Bryan is a country artist. You can tell that because he makes country music. It's a giveaway of a lot of country artists. Happy New Year. Wishing you all the very best. Morgan, I wish you all the best too. And Simon, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to each and every one of you. Whether it's New Year's where you are in the world or not, have the lovely wishes. You all deserve it. And uh, we've talked about this. I hope you've all set realistic, fun goals. Don't set a goal that's not fun. Or don't set a goal that you really don't care if you smash or not. Like, give yourself a goal that if you do a good job of it, you want to tell everyone about it. And in that same vein, it doesn't need to be something specific, like I'm going to do this, black and white, this is happening. It doesn't need to be like that. It can be more chill can be, I'm going to improve in this. And then if you improve well over and above where you thought you'd improve, you can still share that with your mates. Be like, hey, my goal was to get down to X. I made it this far. How cool is that? Um, good for you. However you want to do it, guys. Is that Spyro? Shaq, pleasure to have you here. You do great bas uh, basketball. Really appreciate everything you do. Three minutes to midnight, Blitz. Woohoo! All right. New Year's is upon Blitz. That's exciting. Good for you. Three minutes to midnight. Um, I'm not sure where that puts you in the world, but obviously in a very exciting place, if you ask me. How are you feeling, Seb? I'm feeling great, Jack. I hope you're looking after yourself. Oscar, that's a lovely thing to say. And Ray, happy new year. Hey, that's what I, hey, Seb, oh, that's what a gay horse eats. Hey, you're welcome. It's a bad joke. Any horse can eat that, actually. A horse chasing after his friends. Hey, that's, yeah, I guess any horse. Um, we're heading out. Much love. Catch you on the next live. Cheers, Eddie, and all the best for 2023, mate. Um, I'm not sure where you're heading out to, but hopefully you're going to go have a good time, and uh, we'll be in touch. Where do I live? Happy New Year. Oh, I thought it was a Happy New York for a moment. Um, I guess all the shirts become more relevant in New York over New Year's, because the ones that say, I love New York, like, I love NY, would now be, I love New Year's. 
Um, I was shopping at New York and got you, Bob, got you Ross ornaments. That's exciting. That is very exciting. Bob Ross ornaments. We were yarning about them last night on the stream here, actually. Old Bob Ross. Um, apparently, apparently, there was some sort of court case, and he lost everything to his wife. Which happens, guys. This happens. But I watched a very interesting TikTok video about it. Um, not Well, yeah. But uh, hard to explain. It's one of those TikTok videos you need to watch yourself for it all to have context. You're going to send to me what address? Um, well, the studio address is on the website. And that is probably the best place to send to. I reckon, Bob. Oh, sorry. I reckon, uh, Jack. And it's very exciting. Does anyone else chat? In the chat, make art. I'm always looking for some art friends. Well, you're in the right place, uh, Wall. Um, this is the home of art, where we make art, involve ourselves in art, and I yarn poorly about art, but we all do it together. Isn't that fun? Um, so, Paul, if you want to see more art, a great place to go is to, 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 to Instagram. Instagram. You can't connect live on Instagram, but um, I'd love to have you on Instagram. My link for my Instagram is in the bio. And if anyone wants to come hang out with me on Instagram, you're more than welcome to hang out with me on Instagram. Um, or YouTube. YouTube's in the bio, too, where all these videos are loaded up there. <laughs> um, lips, welcome back. Um, I'm not sure what the real username is, but it's a pair of lips as the emoji, so I say lips. Um, oh, thank you very much, Jack. I really appreciate that. And I hope that the uh, New Year's season hasn't been too chaotic for you at work because I've been doing less lives, and so I've been around less to give you your little, um, how would you say it? A cigarette at the end of a shift. Um, I'm not a cigarette. Figurative cigarette. That's what I'll be. <laughs> um, beautiful, modern, beautiful color. I am painting in France. I, France, in Bordeaux. Wow, Carol, you wild. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, if you're painting right now, that's really fun. Um, I am just painting a picture of Spyro. And I can't stress it enough. However, you like to paint, do it with your own style. This is a very messy style. If you like to paint by numbers, don't let anyone tell you painting by numbers isn't, isn't, isn't great. Painting by numbers includes all the therapeutic aspects of art. It is the application to paint. You get to mix the paint. It's all the fun things. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. Dancing on the tailgate in the full moon. The kind of thing makes a man go mm, mm. La, da, da, da. Looking so good and what's... This is why... I... This is why I could never be a uh, professional country artist. Beside not being cool enough and not having the voice, um, I couldn't be a professional country artist because we're doing things like Hey Barn, uh, Hey Barn, what do you call it? Festivals? What do you call it? Uh, concerts. Hey Barn concerts. And I'd be sitting there going, like pausing mid-song, just like sneezing into the mic. And I'd be like, this guy... Is even from the country? Um, so I missed a comment back there. I was yarning to myself. It is 2023, Sam. Um, if in case anyone missed it, in this part of the world, New Zealand, it is 2023, and it's 9 a.m. here. So uh, I'm in Tauranga. Tauranga, New Zealand, which is in the Bay of Plenty, which is in the North Island. 
if you can't know, if you don't know where Tauranga is or New Zealand, uh, start with Australia, go south east, and uh, you should be right from there. Good to see you. How's it going? It's going very good, JMS. Welcome, welcome, David. Um, happy New Year's to every single person here. Um, and excuse. Thanks, David. Excuse my sniffing. Um, you got a friend in Tauranga? I've got a friend in Tauranga too. Um, am I your friend in Tauranga? I don't know. I don't know. Um, excuse my sniffing, guys. Uh, it's because, 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 because of hay fever. I catch it wildly during the season. I tried to do filming on Boxing Day and the day after Boxing Day, and I just could not even see straight. The hay fever was so bad. And so I thought, well, rather than going outside and battling, I'll just do a couple of sets inside. Um, but since it's the new year, and we're getting our iron, and we're having some fun, I thought, let's, let, 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 let's do a fun little spyro for Lucy, who hasn't come on yet. She's partying too hard in Australia. But that's all right. And uh, here we go, Spyro. Let's increase the size of his head there a little bit. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. Dancing on the tailgate in the full moon. And kind of thing makes a man go, mm, mm. La, da, da, da. Looking so good on what's left of those blue jeans. Thinking, honey, I'm a da, 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 da. Okay, so this wants to be wild, it's expressive. Everyone knows what Spyro looks like. We don't have to capture a lot for it to look like Spyro. If you were to put all the lines, excuse my sniffing, on this, uh, all, all the lines that make up Spyro on here, you'd probably only have about 200 lines. There's not much to work with. And so to make it more fun, to make the paint relevant, yes, Brody, this is Spyro. To make it more relevant, we're using this abstract style, using this paint because... The pixels can only get so far, and a camera or the pixels can only do so well. We're going to beat it because we can capture more energy with paint. And so since the subject's actually, I mean, it's an exciting subject, but the actual composition of it, the amount of tones and colors and things, are actually a little bit boring, we can improve on that. So painting pixelated images is actually somewhere where impressionist art can step in and do a better job than photography. Because a pixelated photo is not a good thing. Like, it, very, very infrequently is that appealing. But a slightly abstracted photo, uh, painting, mm, now we're talking. I can get on board with that. But no one wants, if you want a photo, it has to be the highest possible definition. Typically. Typically. Like, we're speaking in generalizations, not in ultimatums. Only a Sith deals in absolute, guys. Happy New Year to Brody. How are you? I'm fantastic, Brody. It's absolutely ideal. Um, you're surprised I didn't add a gem. Ah, gems. That's hilarious. No, I haven't added any gems. Um, but I feel like something on the gem front should be incorporated into the painting. What did, when did you start this painting? We started it yesterday. And if I can get my act together and apply paint rather than just yammering the whole time, um, I plan to get it finished this set today. We're going to get this to a place where I can be like, right, Spyro, voila. Um, part of that, too, is making sure every time we apply paint, we're not being judgmental on it. We're letting the paint just do its thing. If I try and strangle every brush stroke, this painting will not come together. We don't need to strangle every brush stroke. We don't need to strangle every brush stroke. We can just be here having some fun with it. And that's what the plan is. There we go. So at any stage, if I left any of these brush strokes, I'd be happy with them to be showing up on the final layer. That's the goal here. So apply paint how you'd like to see it on the final layer. That's perfect. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Not perfect. Good enough. He's quick with that. He sketched it from scratch yesterday. Yes, I wanted to get it finished yesterday, guys, but... Um, Guests started to arrive for New Year's, and I thought I'd best be a good host. They'll want things like plates, they'll want things like company, and all the fun stuff. And so I thought, let's dash out and do that. 
Um, so I didn't get to finish this yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Um, so, 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 now I'm attacking it with oils. The reason I'm using oils now is because I'm breaking my rule. We should not be using oils inside, but it is a smaller canvas and the oils aren't going on too thick. So, I think we'll be all right. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't stay. I said something wrong. How I long for yesterday. Uh, I'm not using black just yet, guys. I've got the opportunity to. I'm choosing not to. I'm adding in purples to the dark gray areas because I don't want Spyro to jump off the uh, canvas like he's hasn't got a background. The background's there, it's just very green. So we're gonna have fun with it everywhere we can, and we're gonna use these purpley colors everywhere we want to. And no one can stop us. That's the fun thing about art, guys. The choice is literally all yours. There's, I mean, you could, you could listen to other people if you want to, but you get to make your own choices. However you want to do it, you are the judge, jury, and decider on your own painting. And so that's no death sentence. That's, that's the greatest opportunity. You do whatever you feel like and don't listen to anyone else. Hi, Steve. Um, yum. Thank you very much for the ice cream. I don't eat much ice cream, but now I've got a digital one. So I don't know. She wouldn't say. I like my way. Um, that makes more sense, though. Uh, Boston, that makes more sense as a lyric. You need to choose. You need to choose to pay your child support. You need, well, that's a weird comment. Um, I mean, I've got no opinion on that, but I'm sure there's experts. Excuse my sniffing, guys, in that field who understand the ins and outs of it, who offer very good support to. The programs and methods of those programs. So we look after everyone. What's in the cup? What's in the cup? Uh, it's coffee. That's a reference to what's in the box. To a movie I've never actually seen. Shocker. Oh. Excuse me. I said. Something wrong, how I long for yesterday, suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be, there's a shadow hanging over me, oh yesterday came suddenly, I think. I don't know all the words, guys. Bear with me. I'm sorry for singing. It's getting me in the mood. It's getting me in the mood of paint. Um, ice cream is yummy. It's true. Ice cream is yummy. Um, I'm not such a big fan of ice cream. But you know what? Don't let my opinion stop you from having yours. You have ice cream if you like ice cream. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Um, I like that username. I love you. It's very, it's on the nose, but it's, uh, it gets the point across in all the ways you want it to come across. Um, just got the number one gifted badge. That's fantastic. Good for you, uh, old Mac, old Mackie Jordan, 96. It's very kind of you. Um, followed up by Canard, Canard Franco. Um, let's keep doing what we're doing here. I've added some black, black to the, um, purple with the intention 
of capturing some of these dark spots. Be quite liberal with it. If it's dry brushing that you're doing, again, if you don't like my style, ignore what I say. But if it's dry brushing you're doing, I recommend going slightly over the line that you plan to go on. And the reason you do that is because when you come back with a wet brush and cut in, you won't have missed what you're trying to capture. Don't dry brush just before it, because say this is the line you're after, and you dry brush up to it, and you've got these little white gaps because you're dry brushing. Go a little over the line, so then when you come back with the other paint, you can cover it. I mean, that should have been another color to prove it. But if that didn't make sense, just ignore it. It's hardly even relevant. Uh, bro, hope you see you next time. Stay young, okay? I'm aging by the second, so that's a struggle. But uh, I appreciate you, Yummy Boo. Is that Yummy Boo? It says Yummy Boo on my screen. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, question. Do you know the color you want before you dip and get into it? Uh, in this case, we did. We chose oil paints and we chose purple. Um, we didn't have to choose purple. We could have chose any color. Ignore the color, guys. Excuse my sniffing. It's the hay fever. I'm battling. But I'm, I'm here. I'm here and I'm committed with you guys. Um, so, what was I saying? I was saying, I was saying I need to bring this forward for starters, actually. There we go. I'm just going to lift the garage door up a little bit too, so we can get some more fresh air in here. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't stay. Here we go. Did that improve it or make things worse? Should have improved it. Um... How do you find out about tape if brushes? Well, you see, I'm deceptively lazy. So, I thought, how can I get around not washing my brushes when I go to random locations? And I thought, hmm, maybe if I don't let them get near the air, and oxygen doesn't touch my brush, maybe then I won't have to wash it. Well, Lord above, I was correct. And so... From that day on, I wouldn't wash my brushes. I would just cover them. <laughs> Excuse me. I said, that's what you get. That's what you get when it's live, guys. You get my sniffles in this season. In the season of hay fever. I said something wrong. How I long for yesterday. Hey, hey, hey. Bobble, bobble, boom. Yes, it is Spyro. Is Spyro what? I missed that comment. My English is bad, but I like your singing also. But hey, thank you very much. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, they need to go. Um. Stick it in a bag. Um, we will bag it. I've actually got the uh, bag for it over here. One second. This is it here. Smaller art pieces. This is exciting, guys. Go in these. Voila! So it goes in here, and it's on a little protective little sheath, and then we zip it up. So technically, this is a bag. That's what I put it in. That's wholesome. Um, Lucy, welcome. Happy New Year. I figured you were having a great time in Australia, but we started Spyro uh, yesterday, and now we're doing some oil on him today. Um, though we couldn't confirm, or I couldn't confirm, is Spyro a guy or a girl? Because it doesn't get, con does it get confirmed? Was it confirmed and I just missed it in the background? I mean, that's, it's not off the cards. It's not off the cards. Uh, Hablo Espanol. No. Um, you could get one of those. That's that's an option that you have. We could, you could choose to get one, or not get one. You have free will, and you can do whatever 
you like. And I love that. Whatever floats your boat. Right. We need some butter, bing, bong, bong, acrylics. And I'm going to get those whites. When you're starting a fresh layer, starting with whites is always a great move. And the reason it's a great move is um, as you mix colors onto the brush itself, the brush is going to get more of those colors on it. And with every color, every medium, oil or acrylic, your white's going to be less white by the smallest percentage. So if you want pure white at any given stage, open with it. And so I'm just going to attack this eye here. Now it's not going to be perfect white. It doesn't need to be. But it wants to be as close as we can conceivably get it. And there we go. Now we're talking. Bye, Yummy Boo. We'll see you later. Spyro is male. Are you, like... I do agree with you, Lucy. I, I feel like he's male, but the question is, is that ever confirmed in the uh, show? That's the thing. Because when I rack my brains, I'm like, when was that confirmed? He behaves like a male. Does he? It's insinuated all the time that he's male, but I don't know. I do not know. This this re-indition of Spyro is going to be male. I'll say that much. This is a male re-indition of Spyro. <laughs> I said... Okay, so you'll see here... We've got white, and we're putting it on top of oil paint. No, Seb, you can't do that. You can do that. Um, oils won't mix with acrylics, and so you can have some fun. They'll stay separate, and so when you're trying to actually get colors onto the canvas, and you're getting frustrated because you're adding on more and more of the same kind of paint, and it's just going more and more porridge-like, you can get around that by actually swapping out to, from oils to acrylics or vice versa, and all of a sudden... The paints you add don't mix as well, and they sit on top of the other color, and you can have some real fun with layering effects with wet on wet that you previously did not have access to. So that's fun. It's very fun. It's currently 8.20 here in the UK, awaiting the new year. Lucy, if it's 8.20, shouldn't you be out somewhere having fun? Well, I know you're here having fun. So that's a win. <sighs> Jeepers, creepers. There's pollen around today, guys. There is pollen around today. Happy New Year, dog. Look after yourself. Um, interesting handle. Uh, love your accent. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate you. You probably should be your indoors this year. Buy that sneeze. I don't get a dog, but um, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Dragon. Oh, that's a good name. Can you speak Spanish? Because I don't understand English. I use a translator. Um, I can't speak a whole lot of Spanish, but I get the feeling that more people in the chat here speak English rather than Spanish. Um, I can say, no hablo español, which means I don't speak Spanish, but this is close as I can get. Um, I can say, las penguinos duerme al cerca lagartos, which means the penguins sleep amongst the cats. And that's, but it doesn't really help here. Hmm. Got some weights for that. That was uh, that was quite good. <laughs> yeah. So the funny thing is, when you do speaking via Duolingo, when you learn how to speak a language, you learn a lot of words. Granted, but your understanding of what you need to say is usually quite limited. I can't ask. I can't say where's the taxi, where's the nearest accommodation. Um, how are you feeling today? I don't know these things. But I can tell you that the penguins sleep amongst the cats, that the dog 
jumps into the lake. Like, so, please excuse the sniffing, guys. I've got hay fever, um, but I wanted to be on the live with you today. Um, the accent's from New Zealand. This is New Zealand. I'm a Kiwi. I'm a New Zealander. They call New Zealanders Kiwis. And I'm painting here in the Bay of Plenty. Ooh, with a rumbling tummy, so it seems. Tissues, yes indeed. Um, because some words in Spanish are similar to Portuguese. Similar to Portuguese. Uh, maybe. Just one second, guys. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Now, excuse me, we're going to go for a little bit of a, a blow here. Ugh. Hey, fever, fever. Hey, fever. You know, Weird Al Yankovic, you speak Portuguese. Good for you. I do not speak Portuguese, but I'm glad you do, because one of us speaking Portuguese would come in really handy if we were in Portugal. Um, I'm not understanding anything in English. You've, you're doing a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed. And we've got a Brazilian here in Portuguese. Uh, it's all right. We had an individual asking some rude questions, but I have got rid of them. Oh. So that's all right. Love me, please. Of course I love you. In a platonic, wholesome, I wish you the best in life kind of way. And honestly... What more love could you want or need? So, that's pretty wholesome. Hey, guys, I'm fluent in sarcasm. Are you, Lucy? I see nothing but niceness from you. Now, hold on. Hold, hold on to me. Because I'm a little unsteady here. All these brushes are cooked. Why do I do this to my brushes, guys? Use oil brushes and it's all over. Thank you very much. What's that? Uh, the Indie Princess. Cool name. Cool name. And Mizell, welcome back to the stream. I didn't see your hello there, but it's good to see you. I think it's highly unlikely that I understand Portuguese. I think you also believe it's highly unlikely that I understand Portuguese. But I like your enthusiasm in the possibility, because that's commendable. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. What did you do for New Year? Lucy, I was in here, so this is uh, Tauranga, New Zealand. I was at this particular house, um, and we had about nine of Shelby's friends come up, 12 maybe, and we partied, let off some fireworks, and we, um, what else did we do? We did a countdown, played some pool beer pong, played some, you need a bigger coffee? Yeah, probably. I've got this tummy rumbles right now, so it's okay at the moment. But um, beer pong, go in the dark beer pong, pool beer pong, uh, slap cup. I'm very good at slap cup. Um, and... We played piñata. I actually brought a box in here and painted it to be a frog and then filled it with those little pre-made shots and then we piñata it, which is very wholesome. Thank you, Renta. And, uh, no hangover? No, 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 no. This is, this is, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm a good boy like that. I'll drink a glass of water in between drinks. So, I also like to wake up early. So, here we are on New Year's Day, painting with you guys. Fresh as a daisy, with a rumbling tummy though. A rumbling tummy. Thanks, Jose. Appreciate you. Um, right, we're going to add this green in here quite indiscriminately. Mmm. Man, my tummy's rumbling. I might run off and grab some uh, 
almonds or uh, something just to curve off those rumbles, but we'll see. We'll see. No need for anything right now, I don't think. Imagine all the people living for today. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Some sweet day you'll find us, and the world can live as one. If that's a lyric, I've got no idea what the lyrics are, guys. I'm just firing from the hip. Breakfast time, I'm just about, actually. Just about. Uh, he doesn't speak Spanish. I, well, I think we just proved that I can say the uh, penguins sleep amongst the cats. Pero is dog. Garto is cat. Pato is duck. Penguino is penguin. Elefante is elephant. Niños. Boys, niñas, girls. I'm on fire. Nosotros, we. <laughs> Como estas? How are you? Uh, buenos dias, good day. Buenos noches, good night. I'm running out of Spanish words really fast. Fake artist. I'm sorry, homie Paris. Um, I'm not sure what that means, though. Am I a fake artist? Probably. Is it because I talk while I paint? Probably. Artists should be unhappy. A real artist sits in, sits in the studio and sacrifices. Doesn't talk to anyone and makes art from his own pain. No. That... You need to, if that's your philosophy, you need to grow up. <laughs> um, arts is a craft, like any other craft, and you can pursue it in the happiest way possible, in the po most positive way possible. That is a possibility for you. And I believe personally that if you pursue art with positivity, that it rubs off on what you create in a small way. So that's what I reckon. Pero tu hablas español? Excuse me, my sniffy. Uh, don't understand it. Thank you very much, Jose. I appreciate that. In my mind, we are married and have five children. That's very wholesome, Amber. That is a good uh, dream to have. Um, you don't have to have me in that either. You could have that with uh, someone special in your life rather than just some random TikToker from uh, New Zealand. But I like your dream. It's a wholesome dream, and it should be normalized that more people should have that dream. So shout out to Amber. Go pursue that dream. One moment. Um, let it be known that I'm also using a paint rag, so if I come back with like paint dripping down the front of my face, it's because I got it on me from the paint rag, so it's a challenge we face. Yep, people look at it and smile. That's good. You should, I don't understand what's been said there, but is this New Zealand a nice place to visit? Yes, it is, and this is the North Island, the North Island of New Zealand. This is Bay of Plenty, and I'm painting in Tauranga. So if you're not from this area, that sounds like a lot of things. But uh, usually I'm up in Auckland, but right now I'm in Tauranga. Tauranga, you can say Tauranga. But uh, Tauranga sounds better. People argue because it's, uh, there's, I mean, there's only one way to pronounce things, but depending on your accent or who you heard from first would depend on how you pronounce that. And honestly, I think we should say which one sounds the best. And Tauranga sounds the best which also happens to be the New Zealand's indigenous population, the Māori. It's a way of pronouncing it. So kudos to them. They came up with a cooler word. 
than our rendition of it, than the Pakiha is the way of saying it. Pakiha is European settler, I think. Chris, you never get any art dons. I never get any art dons. I get lots of art dons. Um, we wouldn't skip class. Hey, I don't know what's happening there. But I get lots of art dons. I literally get all my art dons. If art was homework, I'd be the goody go to the classroom. How could you? Saying I don't get art dons. I really enjoyed watching your live. Jose, you're more than welcome here anytime. Um, to anyone else who's having fun, you've got a whole variety of options. If this is making your day a little bit better, then you can share this with the rest of the world. I don't know how you do that. I think there's a share button, but um, where it is on the screen or how you find it, I can't help you. But I see it pop up every now and again. Someone shares it. If you feel compelled to do that, you are more than welcome to do that. And you can spread happiness into someone else's day. Um, if you're more shy than that, understandable. You do you. Um, the other thing you can do is you can jump onto my bio where if I'm not live currently, you can find all the replays of this, me yarning to you guys on YouTube. Um, I'm currently uh, five videos behind. It's my internet. I'm so sorry. I complain about that every time. I'll fix it. I'm a shocker. Um, and I'll have it up there on YouTube. And so we can watch the old reruns. Um, Lucy, I will post the original video of this. It's pretty cool how it came together, actually. Um, so if you're ever laying there in bed thinking, ah, am I going to scroll through Instagram for four hours before I go to sleep? You think, actually, I'm going to pop on and flick at that video of how he started Spyro. You'll be like, that's not so hard. And it's pretty straightforward, actually. That's easy. Um, does he have spicy links? Um, well, you can't eat any of the links, so, oh, you mean figuratively spicy. Look, the spiciest links probably, I mean, it's all very mild spice. We've got um, this TikTok here. Now, TikTok and Instagram reels show up on and story things, but at the moment I've been slack on that while I've been, it's right there. Lost it, it's gone. Um, it's supposed to be a sneeze. So... You can find Instagram and TikTok are pretty similar, but both pretty fun. You can follow me on either um, for some mild spice. And then we've got YouTube, which is the full length videos of these painting sessions. One after another, a big long wave. And then there's a website. Probably the spiciest thing is the About Me page on the website, which is emotionally spicy. Um, that's, as, that's as good as I can do you. Seb is banned from Twitter. Seb is banned from Twitter. Lucy is the gatekeeper on Seb's Twitter account, which doesn't exist. This is this this whole uh, live on TikTok thing's been eye-opening for me, though, guys. I didn't realize Twitter had this uh, fun subculture of spice. Um, I'm not a part of it, but now I know it exists, and I like being in the know. But if there's an inside joke, I get awkward until I'm a part of it. I want to be in. I don't want. I want to be in on it. And I wasn't in on that one for a long time. Lucy had to let me in on it. She's like, "Seb, Seb, head shake, head shake." Here we go. Um, Twitter is definitely for spice. Yeah. Well. Elon Musk is a naughty, naughty man. Sitting there putting spice. Last time I... First I heard of Twitter, I was in high school. And everyone's like, Twitter. And I'm like, no, not for me. Partially because I don't really have anything that I want to say. Like, which sounds ridiculous because I yarn non-stop on this for like hours on end, but what I mean is, I don't have anything that, uh, um, any one line that I want to make more important than the other one lines. 
Why are you wearing a shirt? Because when I get up in the morning, I put on undies, excuse my sniffles, I put on pants, and I put on a shirt. And that's my typical combination. Um, I don't normally forget one of them. It's a three-piece process, and I can handle it all right. Um, but if you, now is he talking to us, it's like he's reading our mind. I'm definitely not reading your mind. I'm just yarning um, and struggling with hay fever, which will blow my nose for again. Um, that being said, though, guys, if you do want to catch me anywhere else, you can find me on, excuse me, Instagram. Link's in the bio. Uh, and YouTube. Um, what's really cool is the YouTube set me a little goal to try and get to a thousand subscribers. I'm on 460, I think, I forget. So if you want to join that little bandwagon and be one of my first thousand, it doesn't mean anything, but I'll find it really special. Um, come join me and we'll have fun. I'm confused. He's reading comments on live. That's how he's talking to us. Well, if you consider that mind reading then I am an absolute mentalist. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Jose. It's the, it's the nose blowing. It's the... Uh, look. It's the reality we live in, Jose. Hay fever is a real thing, and I'm battling with it, and we will continue to battle with it. Right, there we go. Hello. Here we go. This can go on here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So tomorrow morning, guys, if you're around, it's going to be pretty exciting because we'll be tapping into our first, our first and one and only landscape. It's a castle. It's a lake. It's a. It's got some grass in there. It's got some uh, geese or ducks or swans. I'm not quite sure, but it's very exciting. Um, because landscapes are wild in that they look wild when they start, they look wild when they finish, they're wild the whole way through. There's a lot to be enjoyed in creating a landscape. So we'll have some fun doing that. I've been trying to remember the name of this game forever. I don't remember the name of this game. Name of this game? Spyro. It should be Spyro like this. I'm just guessing. Thank you very much, Jose. Something you struggle with painting, or do you wing it all? Uh, when it comes to painting, of course. So with painting, you'll hear me yarn about um, accuracy on brush strokes. So I'll get my usual average is about 75% correct. So every time I draw a brush stroke, it's about 75% of where I want it. Or, 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 every three brush strokes in the right place, one goes in the wrong place. Now, once you start getting on a roll, you could get every single brush stroke in the right place or 95% in the right place because um, you're going quite fast. So sometimes you make mistakes, but it's worth that speed. It's worth it. But the issue that comes in is when you get knocked out of the right mind frame, what happens? You start slamming paint on and getting the wrong stroke, the wrong stroke, the wrong stroke, and mentally you have to overcome that in a way that you start getting back onto the train and landing those strokes in the right place. And that can be really tough sometimes. Sometimes it requires complete disengagement from the piece you're working on to actually come back to it with fresh eyes. You never know. Thank you very much, Ameth. Ameth Aguirre. Marco, that's correct. Marco, lovely to see you. Happy New Year. And thank you very much. It's a very unnovel accent here in New Zealand, but for you guys, I suppose it's special. I forgot, I still need to send you some. Yeah, Lucy, come on. Um, that's all right, Lucy. You're, you're in Australia, and Australia this time of year is wild because Australians know how to party. So I'm actually surprised to see you today. So that's okay. Wait. I thought Lucy was in Australia. Where are you from, Lucy? Have I got mixed up? I've got mixed up here. You'll have to excuse me. I played like six games of beer pong last night, so... 
Oh, no, wait, hold on. You said you are going to visit Australia. But now I don't remember where you were from originally. Now I'm all tripped up. You got me, like the youth say, you got me tilted. If that's the right word. Am I using it in the right context? London, that's right. I don't know what came over me, Lucy. I'm an idiot. Of course you're from London, and you're visiting New Zealand or Australia. Now, now, I'm in the know. Seb's an idiot. Seb gives his most humble apologies. Seb will try better to do better next time. And that's the best you can ask for, Lucy, that I do better next time. <laughs> a pale Australian, fair. And thanks, Raphael. Appreciate the 2023. Um, happy New Year from the United States. Thank you very much. Blame the hay fever. Yeah, blame the hay fever. Blame the um, blame the everything. Blame the everything. Imagine all the people living for today. Yeah. You may say that I'm a dreamer. I'm not the only one. Some sweet day, yeah, you'll find us. And the world will live as one. Bone, quick, quick. Okay, let's get that in there. We're using the green paint. The green paint. Applying it into this background here. There we go. Hello. That's good. That's very good. Then down the bottom here, same story. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And a little bit more around here. Gonna get it all in there. There we go. See this here? We can get down the bottom here nice and easily because our hand's not being pinched. Not being pinched by the, uh, the, 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 the canvas being too low. If it's too low down here, I'm gonna pinch my hand like this, my, my wrist, trying to get it on there. So I need to make sure that I'm uh, neutral. Um, I'm up. Do you want me to make you a coffee? Yes, please, Shelby. I would love a coffee, but can I have an instant coffee if that's okay? Not a fancy one. Just a dirty, dirty instant coffee. That would be fantastico. Did I miss any comments there, guys? Hello, Nosh, Nash, Nosh, Niche. Hope you're doing well and warm heart and a happy welcome. How often do you work out? I try and go for a walk every now and again, keep myself healthy. Hey, Ash. Didn't know you were in the back there. Lovely to see your name. Spyro. Yes, indeed. Indeed. It's Spyro, guys. We're having some fun. Um, people get hung up on art sometimes and feel like if you're going to paint something, it has to be epic. It has to be. Like, we go almost old school Victorian with art sometimes. We're like, if we're going to paint a picture, make sure they're facing you with their face straight ahead. Maybe with a slight weird smile or something. Uh, I don't know. People get quite, um, they want the heroic or the glory scene when it comes to art. And it's really cool when you get to do something like Spyro, where you can just loosen up and have some fun, or like the portrait down here. Hold on, I'll spin you around. Woo! This guy down here. Um, that sort of one, we've got a pouty face, where we've sort of said, hey, it's art. But we don't have to fit into your uh, preconceptions of what art is. We can have some fun, we can... Make a picture like this. Excuse my sniffles. And we can just, uh, yeah, make it to be whatever we want to be it. So that's pretty wholesome. So that's not very nice. Lips, unless I've been in an endearing way. I've been, you're, you're looking at a fellow who's never, never been further away from a frat. I was like the geeky kid. I play. With, I used to play with trading cards. I still play with trading cards. Um, I put. I clocked about three hundred hours on Skyrim, shamelessly. I did one hundred and forty hours as a Khajiit, and I did everything in my first run through. And then I came back as an orc with a double-handed weapon, and then ran around with that, and put about a hundred hours into that, and then uh, did a wood elf for a bit. But 
Didn't really vibe the arrow. They, sorry, I vibed the bow and arrow with the Khajiit. Didn't vibe it with the Wood Elf. What I'm saying is no frat boy. Absolute, absolute geek. Um, thanks, Julia. Appreciate that. Spyro is steering. Um, off into the distance. Yeah, he should be. He should be. He'll be doing his thing. Just add some more. Um, thing is, too, guys, we don't need to be afraid of having green in Spyro's face here. We can add green wherever we want to. And in fact, the printer probably had a little bit of green inside this purple coat. So we're going to realize that. I ran into that term today, actually, while I was browsing my phone on Instagram. Realizing something. When you're like, the inspiration was realized by the, oh, it was for a cinematography for a movie. They're talking about how they realized the crocodile for this horror movie thing. Um, they realized the crocodile by building it physically. And I'm like, that's, it feels like you're using the wrong word, but it, it is correct. I personally didn't like the use of it, but I liked it. Uh, I'm, 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 just, I'm just being picky. It was fine. I need, to, I need to grow up. Here we go. Perfect. Yum. Cool looking Spyro. Oh, Lake Daniel. Spyro's a masterpiece. Thank you so much. Too bad for Skylanders. Who's Skylanders, Kyle? I'm not sure. But, uh... Lake, I'm sure you're going to find someone who's going to love you to bits and you'll do whatever you want to do with them and live the happiest life you could live. But you don't want me. I've got hay fever. I can't go outside right now. How niggly is that? Um, uh, can we be friend, please, someone to talk to? Josh, you're welcome to be on the stream and do your thing. Um, excuse me. Um, you can do it however... You can... You probably want friends more locally that you can hang out with. But I'm happy to give you company here on the stream whenever you're around. So that's pretty wholesome. That's a good compromise, right? Um, what's the weirdest looking dog I've ever... That's the weirdest looking dog I've ever seen. Uh, he is sort of marveled at... He, I, reckon it's, I reckon he's actually... If I was to say what they modelled Spyro after, I would say a fox terrier. Um, so the fact that we've got dog vibes coming in here means like weirdly enough, I feel like I might be on the right track in a good way, in a good way. Let's try some paint in there. Now, there we go. I'm going to actually move this back a little bit so I can move back a little bit. It's a dragon. Thank you, Tyrone. Appreciate you. He's from New Zealand. Yes, he is a fox terrier. Love it. It's because he's like, well, yeah, he is. Like, he's a little fox terrier. And he sprints around and he huffs and he puffs and he has that little look where he, like, puts his neck right back and, like, looks up at you. Like, he's a, he's a cute little fox terrier. He does his thing. Um, uh, wait. You're in 2023. You're in yeah, I am indeed personal hype man. It's wild. Hi from Jersey. How's the future looking? Ah, it's about the same as the past, actually. Pretty similar. Thank you very much. That's very sweet of you. Um, mm. Someone asked how much the painting was. Oh, no, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, that's exciting. Sorry, guys. I missed a few comments there. Shelby's telling me that uh, someone was asking how much the painting is because their three-year-old would like it. If your three-year-old's playing Skyro, they are the best. That's fantastic. Um, looks exactly like he... Same as, <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Mika. Um, if you are interested in this painting, you can contact me via Instagram, um, which is the link in the bio, or jump on the... Do I got paint on my face? I totally did. It's a shocker. Hold on. Ooh, it's everywhere on my hand. This is why. This is why. And that is actually... Oil paint. Ah, that's why it's going everywhere. Hold on, I'll get a new rag. One second. Imagine all the people. Let's see if we can rub this off my face. How are we doing? We're sort of getting it. We got it. That's golden. Um, so, if I missed your comments there, contact me via Instagram. 
or reach out to me via the website and we can sort of plan out. Um, it's hard to give a quote without shipping costs and things like that. Plus, we're not finished yet. We ain't finished. It's going to be exciting once it's done. But if you're a Spyro fan, if you're a fan of Spyro, three-year-olds are fan of Spyro. That's so cool you got a three-year-old. Is that because you got them like a PlayStation 1 and have had them playing it? Because that's, that's a move that I would also make. I think that's fantastic. Um, yeah, sorry about the paint, guys. Me. No, when you say me, were you the one asking about the uh, painting? That's pretty cool. Well, Noel, if it was you, get in touch. Reach out via Instagram or the website. And let's have conversation. Conversation. Here we go. So like I say, guys, I'm going to add the green into Spyro just a little bit. Just a little bit. And the reason why we do that is so he doesn't stick out. He wants to blend into the background in a way that you actually accept that Spyro and the background are part of the same piece of artwork. If I don't do that, what's going to happen? Spyro is going to look like a sticker slapped on top of it. Do some customers give you a hard time? I know some artists on Twitter who have. Customers, hey, thanks, Jace, and thanks, Noel. <laughs> Did I miss some comments at the top there? Get you a man who can do art. Emily, I mean, get you a man who cares about you. That's the first thing. I was a child when I played the Game Boy version of this. There's a Game Boy version that's wild as a fox, but here's a dragon. You'd think the dragon would beat the fox, and it does in the end, I suppose. Um, when are you having kids of your own? I don't know, David, but uh, one day. Snapchat, no Snapchat. Not cool enough. Um... Is the back of my arm burnt? Yes, I've got a weird tan line at the moment. Sorry, guys. Um, no, I don't get any hard time from customers. Um, well, nah. Nah, it's all pretty standard. Um, it's all pretty standard. There we go. Now we're going to move back into this deep purple. You realize a bit of this purple. And I wish upon a star. And I find myself wanting more. If I would dream. Do da do da do. Oh, I can't So it seems all your hopes and dreams are a million miles away. I will reassure you, we've got to all stick together. Good band, band, dum ba do do. I don't know all the words. Sorry, guys. Um, what kind of headphones are those? They are aftershocks. They keep it off my ears so that way I can hear what's going on around me without actually having to wear the... Is it PS1 Spyro? Yes, it is. Um, they're also helpful. <clears throat> I got them for running on the road, but I never went for a run. So I got the, the kit, but no effort. So, silly me. They conduct sound vibrations into your scalp or something. They do do that, David. So the music plays through them directly onto my temples. It's pretty nifty. Um, how long are you going to be on live? Good question. Uh, probably another, what time is it? 10 o'clock. Ooh, thanks, Rai. Appreciate the goggles. I just turned around and missed them, but I saw them briefly. Um, I am 30 this year in 11 days. So I'll be live for another 30 minutes, maybe now. We'll see. We'll see. Spyro is coming together really well. It's actually really interesting, guys. I'm doing a good job down here on its body, on his body. Um, but the face here, the area where the most attention should go, we've given the less, least amount of attention. Perfect. That's what we want. We want our focus to go into the background. We want to go into those lesser areas that you think you shouldn't notice. Because no matter what, we're not going to forget Spyro's face. We're going to spend a lot of time there. So this allows us to get that good spread. Thanks. Brandon, appreciate you. 
hope you like the uh, Spyro work. Do they make your thought tickle? Spyro makes my thought tickle. Um, I like Spyro. Probably not that much, but uh, he's good. He's good. Um, have any Spyro games come out on Nintendo Switch? Probably, I reckon. I reckon. 4 p.m. in New York. That's wild. How far off New Year's are you, Lucy? If I've been here an hour, you'd be on 9.30, so you've got two hours and a half. Two hours and a half, and then and then it's all on. Um, also, guys, if you're having fun, you can share the stream. Don't have to do that, but there's a button somewhere where you can do that. You can follow me on Instagram. That's in the bio. Um, I would love to have you join me there. Um, it's very similar to TikTok, uh, sorry, TikTok stuff, but it's uh, the app's got a different picture, which is fun. Um, and name. And if you missed any of these streams, guys, you don't have to wait for me to sporadically leap on live again. You can follow me on YouTube, um, where we just, it's nothing special. Don't get too excited. I literally just grab these videos download them, and then just throw them onto YouTube full format style. And uh, that's where we go to. They make Remax. Remax, I bet they do. Hey, Barbie Tings. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Hope you're looking after yourself. Imagine all the people. Living for today. Boop, 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 boop. You may say that I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. You may say that I'm a dreamer. And the world can live. There's a new name, Galario. Casted, I can't get that, but welcome to the stream. Favorite video game character? Probably Spyro. Spyro's fun. Or Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, all good. Um, unless, yeah, Spyro or Crash Bandicoot. They're not my favorite video games, but they're my favorite characters in video games. Um, uh, hey, Seb. Have, uh, Scott, hey, Seb. Haven't seen you since Tower of Boys. How am I going? I'm going good. It's amazing how many people from Tower of Boys pop up on the stream. Um, Scott. Scott, 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 Scott. I'm trying to watch Scott. Tower of Boys had a couple of Scots, and Tower of Boys had a couple of uh, Sibs. We had Artsy Sib. That wasn't actually me. Um, <laughs> we had... Uh, he could draw really good dinosaurs. Um, we had Sebastian. We had Baz. And then we have me. Um, I think the other two went by Baz, and so I went for Sib. But I thought Baz was a pretty cool nickname. Um, <laughs> Blue, Jeepers Creepers. Um, turns out Bob Ross doesn't make any money off his name. He's gone now, and his wife has the whole thing. And his kids don't get... I don't know. I need to watch the documentary. People have been talking about it on here, and I don't know enough, so don't listen to a word I say, actually. I don't know. I will watch the documentary and get back to you. God said no, too much talent for one per... Oh, I'm sorry, David. I don't know what... I don't know what God's up to there. Um, Wiley, Scott Wiley! Oh, <laughs> champion! Welcome! Good to catch up with you on TikTok here, mate. Um... My leavers year in Tarrant Boys was 2010. Um, and I hear a couple of teachers have actually said to move on. I'm more, I'm really excited, Scott, if you've heard. Mr. Turner, my old drama teacher, is now the principal of Tarrant Boys College. And the one thing I regret about that, my one disappointment, is I'm here in Tauranga right now. And I haven't gone down to see him to say, hey, this is, you know, I'll, it's probably his stream, he's probably nailed that. But, you know, he 
he might get a kick out of ex boys going in there and just saying, "Hey, this is this is really cool." In my eyes, back when you were teaching us fifth form drama, and you used to talk about coming back and be the principal of this place, I remember that, and now you are, and that's really special. And we appreciated him to no end as a drama teacher. He was incredible. He was incredibly funny. He he was one of those teachers that, although we nailed the curriculum, he cared less about the curriculum and more about the personal growth of the boys in his class. And, I mean, <laughs> what more can you ask for? Like, if that's not 100% of everything you need, you're being really unreasonable. That's That was fantastic. Rob Leslie has retired. He has indeed. He's moved on. Um, Mr. Howard's no longer there. Um, I'm not sure if Mr. Turner's there, the third form dean. Robert Magnin's obviously gone because Mr. Turner's taking his place. But look, I think we can all know that uh, the school's in safe hands with Mr. Turner there because you'll ne I mean, I'm not sure about other students who worked with him, but for me, I, uh, yeah, I couldn't have had a better teacher than Mr. Turner for every class that I had with him. That was really lucky and really fantastic. Reference image. Always use a reference image. Because I'm crazy, and the problem when you're crazy is that when you've got to add paint to a canvas, it'll turn out crazy. So I need that anchor. Now, I don't listen to the anchor the whole time, and I pull on the anchor, but as long as I've got an anchor to return to, we'll be okay. That's the that's what I need. Um, I think I might Super 8 school represent, yeah, he's got a Super 8 to, um, for barbershop and improvisation. So I used to do improv stuff and barbershop. I was a tenor. A tenor. Me, Yardian, and Cody Bagenstoss. Wild world. Um, yes, Frank. Indeed, indeed. That's fair enough. Um, but, so if you find you do abstract work and it deviates wildly from the plan um, or you don't like the results, it gets too, too many layers, too messy, too this, too that, Try having a guiding picture. And you're like, no, I want it to be from the heart. I want it to be special and unique. It can still be all those things. Try having a guiding picture and let that just start the process in a way that actually not tells you but suggests to you where you can put colors and do things. Sometimes having a limitation like a guiding picture is the thing that can really set you free. Sounds cheesy. It's true. You should do it. Dre, you're an absolute champion. I appreciate all the work you did with Eminem and your record label's fantastic. My favourite song of yours is I Need a Doctor. You've done very well in life, Dre. Appreciate you. Trina, hello. Um, can you say no, Cleo? The condensation. I don't think I said that correctly, but I did say it, David. No, Cleo. The condensation. No, Cleo. Le Condensation. I think every time I say it, I get further away from how you want me to say it. I'm doing nothing but trying. Hey, thanks, Trina. Appreciate the treasure boxes. You're an absolute champion. Kyle, um, I'm not sure what the scale's for, but I'm doing nothing but try. Is that because of the condensation thing, Kyle? I don't know. I don't know. Um, today is a music day, guys. Typically for today, to get me in the mojo, to get me uh, excited about working, I would put on some music, but I have no music, so I'm just singing to myself most of the time and trying to avoid copyright by not putting on any music in the background. Hello from Ireland, and uh, it's good to hear your name's not John. That's a compelling username. Um, that was a great way to end the year. Fantastic, David. I'm glad you're looking after yourself. It just means I found it funny. I'm like, dead. Ah! It makes sense. I'm still part of the generation that sees laughing faces and thinks that's what's funny, but the dead scale, I keep thinking, does that mean he's like, like, does that mean he's like bored stiff? Does that mean he, someone, you know, I don't, I don't know. Turns out it means I'm dead. Yep, makes sense. You can see how dinosaurs like me, though, hear that and we're like, um, dead is good? Why is dead good? I'm confused. I'm very confused. But you know what, Kyle? 
I trust you. And if you tell me that scowl means good, then I'm on board. Even though I feel a little bit silly saying it. Could you please flick your button? That, that is not what this channel is about. But I'm glad that you're excited. Um, up and away. Cool name. Right. But if you want to connect more guys you can find me on instagram the link is in the bio if you want to get commissioned art you can do that via the website or via instagram reach out to me we can sort of plan out um at the moment there's availability in mid-january there's nothing up until the ninth at the moment but we can get you sorted yes this is spyro this is spyro for a small donation of a hundred thousand dollars to your local children's hospital um, it's pretty cool. Can someone donate $100,000 to a local children's hospital? Can I be a part of that? How do we... I haven't got money, but I want to be a part of that. I don't know how to be a part of that. How do I be a part of that? Good for you. Whoever's doing that, I'm proud of you. Not in a... In like the most wholesome, you're a champion kind of way. We're working with oils. We're breaking all my rules. Usually I say we should paint with acrylics inside and oils outside. And then I'm like, that's the only way you should do it. And then I come into my own studio and start painting with oils inside. And you're like, this guy's just a liar. Um, you should always paint with oils outside and acrylics inside if you have the option. I have the option. I'm not following my rule. I'm an idiot. Don't do that. Um, because it's a quick session, guys, and because the canvas is smaller and because we're not using much oil paint, I'm tolerating it, but oils do have fumes. So use those in an environment where you can look after your head. That's so important. Your head's important. You're important. You're more important than any work of art will ever be. You are You are the greatest work of art you'll ever make. There, there you go. That's what you needed. Um, you sent me a message. Fantastic, guys. Um, it won't let you send messages via... TikTok, so if you do want to send me a message, reach out to me on Instagram, um, and we can get in touch. All those links that you're after are in the bio. Um, there is links to Instagram. There is all these long format videos uploaded, just 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 uploaded to. You are a work of art. Yes, you are, David. Live that dream. You are the great. You're only you're a work of art. You are the greatest project. You will ever work on. You are the best thing that's ever happened to you, and you deserve the most attention that you can give anything in your life. You can love other things more than yourself. You should love a lot of things more than yourself, but in terms of attention, you need to give yourself a lot of attention. What's the saying? You can't pour from an empty cup, guys. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Um... Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. What are you going to do for New Year's Eve? Des, New Year's Eve has been. This is the 1st of January here in New Zealand. I am painting from Tauranga. Um, and Christian, thanks for New Year's things. Where in New Zealand are you? You're in Auckland. That's wild. This is Tauranga. Tauranga Bay of Plenty. Um, yeah, so guys, that's very important. If you didn't listen to that, listen to it again. If you miss it in the background, I'm going to say it again. You cannot pour from an empty cup. That's why you need to fill your cup up or find ways to fill your cup. Because otherwise, how will you pour into other people's cups? The most fulfilling thing you can do in this world is filling other people's cups. But you can't do it if your one's empty. So, that's what I reckon. If you don't agree, don't agree. But I agree. Hello from Alaska. What a wild place. What a wild place. The only place I've seen Alaska on is on, bada bing bung bong, I think it's Wild Alaska on uh, National Geographic. And they shine, you guys, in the most fantastic light. Like, that place looks... Like, <coughs> bless me. Like one of the most incredible places on the face of the planet. Um, so, huge kudos to Alaska. Huge kudos. Um, the colours are realistic. Thank you so much. Um, I, mean, I mean, the fact that it's actually a computer game, and so, yeah, it's pretty fun to make it realistic. 
even though it's just a computer game. But we're making good ground here. I'm excited about the Spyro. I think he's looking pretty cool. We've established that Spyro's, in fact, a man or male. Um, sorry for questioning it. Anyone who's passionate about Spyro being masculine, I thought it could it could be up for debate. You know, you never know these things. Turns out it's not. Um, the material art graffiti that dragon looks familiar. Where is it from? This is Spyro. If you've played PlayStation 1, if you are 25 plus years old, you will recognize Spyro as an absolute pop icon from your past. And you are lucky to be able to do that. Now, let's leap on this. Oh, Spyro. Go and give you some paint. There we go. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Happy New Year. Yes, filling my cup is key. And thanks for sharing that to everyone. You are welcome. What's that name there? Riarina. 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 I'm sorry for being an idiot there. I can't quite pronounce that. And that's on me. It's my eyes more than anything. Um, I've been accused of having the ability to express my. That stops time out, but I'm glad for you. Love the do, thank you. I need a haircut, actually. You're only here for the accent? Well, you know what? At least you're here. You're here, pre happy new year to everyone, guys. I hope you're all looking after yourselves. Stay safe on New Year's if New Year's is in front of you. Enjoy the 1st of January if New Year's, like me, is behind you. And... Yeah, if you haven't set a goal yet, set a realistic one. Set one that uh, doesn't have a black and white answer to it. One that you can actually pursue, but if things get busy in your life, you won't beat yourself up about. That's the kind of goal we want to set this year, guys. Or ignore the random Kiwi speaking down the phone line to you because you're a grown-up and you can make your own decisions and you don't need a strange Kiwi man telling you what you should do. So all those things are good answers. My personal goals, I want to, well, I want to continue with what I've been doing. Continue with what I've been doing. I want to, um, what else do I want to do? It's all pretty good, actually. I want to, uh, I want to, no, I'm sort of doing everything. I'm, I'm pretty happy, guys. I'm pretty happy. I want to I want to continue perpetuating what's going on already. That's what I want to do. Um, yeah. I want to connect with more people. I want to connect with more people. That's what I want to do. I want to connect with more people. I want to share this passion. I want to share this craft with as many people as possible. I want to spread out there as much as I can. And I want to hear about it from as many people as possible that they've had a better day just because I'm doing what I love. That's what I want to do. That's wholesome. If you ever get paint or oil on your shirt that won't come out, use product awesome. Um, I didn't know that was a product, but I use regular soap. Lay it on the table, rub it with the soap, use brush cleaner. This is brush cleaner here. This will work. Terps will sometimes remove color from your clothes, but brush cleaner is like a really strong soap. I'll hold it there still for a little bit. There we go. And that will work a little bit. Um, or don't wear nice clothes when you paint. Um, these ones look like nice clothes. If you look closely, I've actually got white on the shirt. I ruined it. So you run that risk. Careful, careful. Why lose weight? Why be fit and attractive? Um, those are good questions, Jake. At the end of the day, your life is your own, and you can pursue whatever passions, whatever things, whatever goals you want to pursue. And just because they're someone else's goals doesn't mean they have to be your goals. You can do whatever you want to do. That's because we have an incredible amount of free will, especially here in New Zealand. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? And how do you want to do it? Those choices are yours. It can be scary, or it can be freeing. Liberating. Now, sorry guys, I'm going to add a bit of this. So this again is another colour which is not actually, if we got picky about it, in Spyro. 
it's a it's like a it's like a deep magenta it's a, it's a fun color Ooh that's a good foot that's looking good happy new year aunt AS, ASM ASM what's my favorite who or what is my favorite band I like an artist um, he comes with a band, but I like Kip Moore. Kip Moore, he's a country artist, and I like Love You to the Moon, I like I'm to Blame, and I like The Bull. I don't really like The Bull's okay. I like I'm to Blame and Love You to the Moon. Those are my two. And Last Shot. Last Shot's also a good song. Big fan of all those ones. Happy New Year. Uh, damn, never enjoyed watching someone paint. Hey, I'm just glad you're having fun. Um, it's a real thrill to be here, guys, because I get to be here sharing my craft with you guys, and honestly, it is special, humbling, motivating, all the things to get the messages that I get during and after a session, or just on the, each day from people who are saying, hey, it's really nice you're here doing this, and for me... Art's a lonely venture. You've, if you've been on the stream before, you'll hear me say it. Art's a lonely thing. You sit by yourself for a long period of time and you paint. And actually, this is not something where I'm giving to you guys. It's a give-take relationship. I, You guys get something. I'm trying to share positivity and all the rest of it with you guys. And I get something because I get company. And I get um, to turn a craft or a venture, which is usually a lonely one, into a positive, fun, and uh, collaborative one. That's the word. And, uh, yeah, I think also art's something that we don't see in the light very often. And so it's very cool to grab something like this and put it in the forefront and show you guys sort of what the process goes from, from start to finish. Because it's a pretty fun process, to be honest. Like, paint uh, and uh, painting doesn't have to be this giant slog or something of sacrifice. Painting can be this thing of perpetual motion, which actually is happy from start to finish that we sh that I share with you guys or that anyone can make. And that actually results in more people spreading more happiness. Um, yes, good art can create conversations and all the rest of it, but the best art surely is happy upon creation and is happy upon distribution. Surely that's a, that's where, a 2D surface presentation can really thrive. Um, that's so true. Art can be antisocial without such a platform uh, or art party with other artists. That's true, Des. Um, yeah, and because of that lonely pursuit, a lot of artists associate art itself with a sacrifice or with pain, all this sort of stuff. It's not like that at all. Um, there's a good book called How to Be an Artist. I forget who wrote it, but um, basically saying that... Uh, Although a lot of people believe that art needs to be sacrificed, actually, on the whole, that's been disproven by a lot of very famous artists. And you can uh, you can pursue your craft in a way that will bring you happiness during the pursuit rather than exhaustion. Oh my God, thank you very much. Oh, thanks, Dream. You're a champion. Um, and hi from Arizona. I've been to Arizona. It's a great place. It is a great place. All right, we are touching into the yellows, but since we're not cleaning our brush, we're getting a lot of the deep red magenta color in there too. And that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 That's looking good. I'm going to spike that one up just there like that. Run that one out to the edges just like that. Perfect. Get that one to the edges. All the way to the edge, boy. There we go. Happy go lucky. We go out from the go. There you go. Add that onto there. Looking good. Hey all. 
Um, uh, this art style is different to the recent ones you've done, see? A little bit. Um, so this is more of a uh, fun one. It's got the same style, but because we're painting pixels, the style is going to come out just a little bit more um, controlled because there's less to actually paint. So lines are more vivid. Um, the color palette is less. So we will add more colors, more fun colors to it. But at the moment, you'll notice that our color palette, although it's bold, is actually more mild than our usual paintings. So we're going to have to scout out and add in and imagine more colors than we'd normally have to, which is okay. I'm ready to do that. There we go. Now we're talking. Ba ba na bum 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 bum. Wobbala boom boom boom. Boom 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 boom. Sorry guys, just gonna get these horns painted. I know I'm standing right in front of the image. Bear with me. There we go, looking good. How do you ha have shaky hands when I paint my hands shake like crazy? Okay, so one thing that might make your pan shake is your tools are too light. Um, heavy paint palette. This is a plate. Allows me to... Um, son, if it's for sale, invite me. Um, this one is for sale. Um, it is has no owner. It is just for fun. I'm painting the Spyro because... Lucy, one of our moderators, got excited when she saw a spiral on the inspiration wall and wanted me to attack it. Um, as long as you're okay with me uh, making some prints, because I feel like, I feel like we should give Lucy a print. I think that's fair. So, but the artwork is available. If you'd like it, leap on to my bio in TikTok. Um, and you'll see my Instagram, and you'll see my website, and you can contact me via pretty much anything. Um, there's, uh, go for um, the, Insta the website contact page, or there's an email on the website, or there's the Instagram where you can DM me, all of it works. Um, if you do message me, you'll try and get in touch. Um, I'm so sorry if I'm a little bit delayed getting back to you. Um, I'm trying to keep up, but... During the holiday period, as time gets stretched thinner and thinner, I try and prioritize coming live with you guys and spending time here rather than on um, uh, making reels or uh, being too active in my inbox. Um, that way, that way, we can get the biggest bang for buck, you know, in terms of Um, spending time with people this holiday season. Also, guys, if you are um, enjoying yourself this holiday season and you want to spread some love, there'll be someone in your inbox who might just benefit from you asking how they're doing and touching base with them. So um, get in touch with your friends and your loved ones and your family and genuinely ask people how they're doing. And, uh, yeah, spread a little love this holiday season because someone might need that. I can't speak Spanish, but that's a very exciting comment there with some lovely emojis. Uh, g'day, James. James P., how you doing? And, yes, it is Spyro. Is this painting for sale? Yes, it is, Tezza. Um, it's going to need a bit more paint on it. But if you're interested in it, message me via Instagram, links in the bio, or leap on the website, which is also in the bio there. And we can have a corridor, which is a mouldy word for conversation. Um, yeah, so just to finish that thought off, guys, spread some love this holiday season. And uh, yeah, yeah, touch base with your loved ones, see how they're doing. And what's the term? I forget. What is, what is it? You call it hold space? I forget. 
basically just ask someone how they're doing and genuinely care what they say back. Is it good? Is it bad? Sometimes people don't even need you to do anything, guys. They just need you to listen. So lend an ear this holiday season. And you could be the reason someone has the greatest day or the greatest summer just because you listen. Let's draw yeah in the buff. I don't understand what you're saying, Turbo, but it sounds positive, so you keep doing you. Um, oh, perfect, Tezza. And also, I thought you were saying okay to uh, checking in with your mates this holiday season. So, <laughs> But either way, you do you. Um, so this is the first of a new series on a way we're doing art this year coming. So the size is slightly smaller. It's okay. I like the size. This works really well for me. It's on acrylic perspex. So it's like an acrylic glass, um, which makes sure it's nice and flexible, which means it's lightweight and strong and easy to ship. And then I want to touch it, but my hands are dirty. Um, can I pick it up? I'm going to use this. Hold on. I've got these new bags, which I'm going to show you because they're pretty cool. I've just wrapped the corner up. I'd unzip it, but I'm just holding it with this here so it works. This here is a folder, and it fits the artwork inside it. It's got a big zip on the front, and the reason it comes in this is so it ships nice and safely, but it also means that if you store the artwork, if you leave it out, if you are moving house, if it doesn't fit on your wall at the moment, and you want to put it in the closet for a bit, the artwork won't get damaged. You keep the folder, and you put the artwork back in it when you feel like it, and when the artwork's on the wall, you slide the folder under the bed, or wherever you want to put it. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. The problem is with a lot, of time, that, a lot of time with art is you purchase it, and then you've got a very delicate thing, and it's quite challenging to move house, or if you've got kids, or if you want to take some time off. Because if art's quite bold, and you put it on your wall, sometimes you can think, ah, it's a bit intense. I'd like to chill this room down a little bit. Maybe I just put that piece of artwork away for a month just to refresh the space and then bring it back. Um, if the artwork's got a protective box or cover, it's easy to do that. Um, if it doesn't, where do you put it? What do you do with it? You like, lean it on the wall in the garage? That sounds inconvenient. You never know. Um, Ivan, I will see you later, Ivan. And Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Look out for yourself. Um, the choices of colours weren't really mine. That was just from this little picture here. But... Oh, you know what? No, I did pick the colours, but I use the guidelines. Definitely use the guidelines. Uh, where am I from? I am from New Zealand. This is the Bay of Plenty. This is Tauranga, 30 minutes from the sea. I don't surf, but you know what? I'm glad it's there. Um, hello, Cindy. Hope you're looking after yourself. Alright, guys. I've said it once. I'll say it again. If you do miss these live sessions and you want to catch other ones, you can find them on YouTube. The link to YouTube's in the bio. Um, my current goal at the moment, if I had a goal for 2023, which is just to perpetuate everything that's already happening, because what's already happening is a lot of fun, um, is to get more subscribers on YouTube, because not everyone is in the same time zone. We're all moving around, we're all living different lives, and that's wild. So. If I miss you, if you want to catch one, it's all there on YouTube. You can subscribe there and see them as I sporadically upload them. Ah, yes, no, I've got a goal. I've got a goal. I didn't before. Now I've got one. I'm going to make a goal for myself to get good Wi-Fi this year because what I want to do is as soon as I finish these live sessions, I want to go on my phone and press download and then go to YouTube and press upload. And so immediately after the live's finished, it's uploaded rather than you guys waiting days, sometimes weeks, for me to get my act together and actually upload previous content. Here I am saying go to YouTube, and my YouTube record of uploading at the moment is absolutely shocking. So if you do go to YouTube and subscribe to me, um, please realize it comes with a promise that I will get more consistent and do a better job on my YouTube channel of uploading these long format videos. My Wi-Fi is holding me back, but that is my New Year's resolution. Will Fix, still New York, still NY, New Year's Eve here in Ontario, Ooh, in Canada. 
Wild. Is that Justin? G'day, Justin. And Monkey Time. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Um, and if you do have some fun here, guys, you are more than welcome to share the live. I don't know where the button is, but play for pay and anyone else. Hi from Taupo. G'day, Max. I'm actually going to be down in Taupo in about a week. Can't wait. Love Taupo. You got a great lake. Acacia Bay is fantastic. The whole lake's great. The waterfront's great. Taupo's a cool town. Um, yeah. If you live in Taupo, you've actually cracked it as far as I'm concerned in New Zealand. That's about as good as it gets. We're in Australia, am I? I'm in that part of Australia that's uh, southeast of Australia called New Zealand. Um, and why are my hands so purple? God damn it. I'm going to use some of this brush cleaner here. I can't, I can't work like this. Ugh, try and tuck in my pants. I'm going to turn everything to purple. Give me a moment. Okay, so this is brush cleaner. It's very, very strong. Uh, alkaline. And so it grabs that oil and loosens it up. See that? Loosened up. So now I need to get a rag, which will be... I've got to pop into a mitre 10 and get a tote bag. Uh, sorry, more rags. But right now I don't have any. So we're using this tote bag. Here we go. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. <sighs> now I can tuck in my shirt properly. One second. One second. You stay just a little bit longer. There we go. You'll have to excuse me. I get self-conscious when the back of the shirt comes out. It's just informal to have that flapping around while I'm trying to paint. Um, thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Um, right. Where is my daughter? I don't have a daughter. But if I did have a daughter, I'd have a little canvas right here just below this one. And she could paint with this third of the live stream. And I'd paint up here. And every time she'd ask for more paint, I'd get it for her and she'd enjoy, enjoy herself. I hope she paints. That'd be really fun. Um, be like a father who, like, when you get a sports dad, like a rugby player dad or something like that, who has a boy who's like, God, I'm going to make him play rugby. Um, but in the same way, I'd be like, come on. Come on, you know you want to paint. You've got a creative streak. You can do this. We can connect over this. Um... <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Um, but we are just here. I'm just here to share. I mean, I know this picture looks pretty silly. This is fun. This is fun. This is Spyro. We're having a good time. But we're just here to share some love. So um, usually I'll try and go out and about and find some fancy location to paint in. Why? It's largely unnecessary. But I find it fun. So that's what I do. Um... But the goal here is just to show you guys this craft, to spend some time with you, and to turn painting from being a lonely solo endeavor into a fun group collaborative endeavor. So um, it's a give-take thing. Um, you're taking, I'm taking. We're all having fun together. Um, if you are enjoying yourself here, then you can follow me on TikTok, or Instagram and YouTube in the bio. You do you. Whatever you like to do, you do that. If you don't want to do any of it and you just want to be here and enjoy being here, then I also encourage you to do that. But you do that because you want to do that, not because I'm encouraging you to do that. You're your own person. Live your own dreams. Don't listen to some strange Kiwi in your phone via TikTok app. Unless you want to listen to that Kiwi, but that would be your choice. Um, Australia, down under, not quite, not quite. This is New Zealand. This is New Zealand. I do not have a Twitter, unfortunately. Uh, if you want me to get a Twitter, then uh, there's a gatekeeper. Her name's Lucy, and Lucy says I'm not allowed a Twitter. That simple, guys. Lucy says no. <laughs> um, and I am 
taken, I am with a lady named Shelby. Um, not to be confused with the two other Shelbys who are followers on the stream. They are also lovely Shelbys, but not the Shelby. The Shelby brought me a coffee earlier, but she didn't come on the stream. She just said to me that I was missing people's comments. Sorry about that. I try and catch as many as I can, but I'm also trying to paint, guys, because painting's my livelihood. So if I don't keep up with paintings, I can't do any more streams. So this is all part of the things. Um, ooh, that comes in there like that. And that comes in there like that. There we go. Spyro's got a wing. Wing, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Um, we're going to get some more. This painting needs some baby blue, guys. And you're like, where's the baby blue in the picture? There's none. We're going to make it up. That's part of the fun. We got full power over this picture. Life is a crazy adventure with lots of twists and turns and wild cards. But for this picture, I've got full control. So I choose blue. Baby blue, I choose you. And no one can stop me. Well, I can stop me, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, <laughs> thanks, guys. Tauranga, New Zealand. That's where we are. Is there actually a living to be made as an artist? Of course there is. There's a living to be made as a plumber. There's a living to be made as a jeweler. There's a living to be made as a garage fixer, garage door fixer. I met a guy who did that the other day. He's literally... Um, overloaded with clients. Um, there's a guy who cleans chimney sweeping. You'd be thinking, uh, Jason will lose his subscription benefit soon. That's a weird notification. I hope you don't, Jason. But you got the number one gifting badge. That's cool. Um, and, oh, good to see you here, by the way, Jason. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Um, God, what was I saying? Ah, uh, yes. So, but the reason that, uh, blah, 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 what was I saying? Making money as an artist. Uh, what about that? Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, find what you love and call it work. If what you love is making art, then you will find a way to make making art, uh, making art work. Purest art, where you actually, well, I say purest art, uh, when you're painting like this, this is very niche. There's so many art forms. There's musicians, there's, you know, people make art forms out of joinery. Joinery is the most amazing thing. It's 3D, it uses wood, it's primal, it requires a huge amount of intelligence and craftsmanship. Don't for a second think there's anything, like, as an art form goes, there's probably not a greater art form than, uh, than joinery and woodwork like that's just that's that speaks to a homo sapien on levels that we that i can't ah it's just it's just incredible it's incredible so this is this is just another form of art there's artists everywhere being paid for what they do um but people only have so many walls but uh yeah no joinery incredible stuff incredible if you're a joiner or if you work with wood there's so much equipment there's so much understanding of different kinds of wood and different kinds of equipment you're an absolute magician don't ever forget that you're a champion calendars merch netflix show hulu so many outlets for you slash this art um i'm not on any of those things i wish i was um but i'm on youtube and i'm on instagram and there's a website, if you want to take part, you can leap on any of those via the bio. Um, YouTube's probably the best one to follow. Um, Instagram's there as well. It's fairly similar to TikTok. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll just get the same content twice, um, which <laughs> you're more than welcome to get. Um, but YouTube is these long videos um, uploaded. And my New Year's resolution is to up, get better Wi-Fi so I can do it. More consistently. How long did it take you to paint that? I'm not sure how long we've been here today, but we we're here for one hour yesterday. So, however long today's stream is, plus plus an hour. That's how long it takes. And we're just putting some extra time into it because I love it. Um, 
<laughs> I'm enjoying Spyro. So we're giving him more time than he should get. I say him. We've established it to him. Um, and but this one should be finished. This is a this is a three hour painting, guys. This is the amount of time we're putting in on this one. So we'd be if I wasn't talking so much, we should be coming around for the final lap. When I said the final lap, we should be in our last 30 minutes. But since you didn't lose your connection, you must still be here. Um, unless, do I have um, a charger cable? Um, but we're making good ground. Okay, this one is a fun one. How do you pick your subject matter on non-commissioned pieces? So in this case here, I like to pick pieces, uh, sometimes I will feel like a spur of inspiration. Spur of inspiration goes into things like uh, um, Clint Eastwood over there. That was all me, fell in love with it, wanted to paint it, wanted to capture his eyes and his wrinkles. Um, in this case here, I've been really moved, guys, by the uh, support from moderators on the stream. Um, I was, I've, I mean, I was just streaming for kicks and people came in and they were helpful and they helped it come together in the most amazing ways um and just coming on whenever i'm on and just sporadically supporting which is i mean that's pretty cool and so one of them i uh, got excited by the inspiration wall behind me here and saw spyro and wanted to see spyro so there's not really a specific method in which each picture gets chosen, but you're just on a continuous journey where pictures just show up and need to be painted. So that's fun. This is Tauranga, New Zealand. Um, geez, guys. Now I need to, I'm on 10% battery. I need to find me a iPhone cord, which I think is over there. Now you'll be able to hear me clearly, but I'm going to wander off. I'm looking for this iPhone cord. Um, I'm making it sound like this is a messy studio. It's not that messy. It's actually really clean. I gave it a big clean out the other day because I got a bit, um, I got like, it was sort of getting so cluttered that I couldn't think straight in the studio. You'll know when that happens. You'll face a sort of like blockage. And you'll be like, why can't I make these strokes land? Or why am I so unmotivated to come to the studio? And then you'll realize, ah, my room is too cluttered. Or my studio is too messy. It's okay to have a messy studio. But sometimes you just need that factory reset to get yourself back in the right vibe. So the other day, I called it quits on doing a painting set. It was about December 20th, I think. And I actually cleaned this whole studio out. It was a day where I was supposed to spend eight hours painting. And I was like, not today. I woke up in the morning. I was like, nah. Nope. You'll spend the whole day painting and you'll go backwards. So clean the studio. Cleaned it out. I vacuumed it. I got some turps. I wiped up all the little marks that were everywhere on the floor. Got the whole place clean. And you know what? I came back fresh and I attacked it. And it was a great day. I spent two hours painting and got more done in the two hours I spent painting after six hours of cleaning than I would have eight hours painting in mess. Um, so, yeah, sometimes you need to pull the arrow back to send it further. Um, I missed some things there. Do I believe in happy little accidents? That's a Bob Ross thing, but um, nah, happy little accidents. I like, I like, I like leaving mistakes all over the picture, similar to Bob Ross, but. Uh, the thing is, the mistakes are what make human art beautiful. Um, as AI art grows more and more, they'll show you what perfect is. They'll use a brush better. They'll make more perfect renditions. And good for them. You know what? We're humans, and we love imperfection. And as a human, every mistake that we make that appears on the canvas is just another element of beauty that an AI will never be able to capture. So, um, yeah, I'm a fan of happy little mistakes. Um I was going to say, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. let me just, sorry, Jason, I'm going to get to your comment in just a second. Uh, 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 um, I could listen to you all that you could have podcast. <laughs> yeah, podcast on painting. But uh, now the, uh, the key to it, guys, no matter what you're doing, what your craft is, whether it's painting, joinery, plumbing, an electrician, you've got to love what you do. 
find something you love and then call it work. And uh, yeah, that'll create an immense feeling of satisfaction in your life. I love painting, guys. I love sharing it with you guys. Um, is painting anything special? Um, I've got a natural inclination towards painting, which is fine, but it means that I've got a thing that I can share with you guys that can improve your days. So that's pretty cool. If me painting didn't make you guys as happy as it does, or make people who buy this artwork as happy as it does, I don't know if I'd enjoy it to the same extent. Um, uh, yeah, sorry guys. Um, so usually we've got moderators here who keep the chat a little bit PG, um, but I'll just block a few people. A few comments are all good, guys. I won't stop you, but uh, if you get a bit excited and start sending naughty stuff in caps, I'll just give you a mute for the stream. I won't block you completely, but just a little mute for the stream. Um, yeah. You're allowed to get excited, but if you do get too excited, you can get excited in silence. I think we can all agree on that. That's fair, right? Hey, Evelyn, welcome. Happy 2023. Good to have you here. Here we go. This background's looking really cool, guys. We don't just want a background that's green. We want a background with expression, with energy, with blues, with reds, with vibrant yellows and oranges and purples and whatever else we can find in a paint tube down in that bucket. We'll throw it on. I'm back to check your art out. I'm a painter also. Hello, Veronica. I think you were, uh, you messaged me on Instagram, didn't you, Veronica? I think so. We were talking about art schools. I forget. Um, but yes, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, mm. I use a plate at times. Me too. Me he too. Um, plates are good. Someone was talking about shaky hands earlier. Um, a heavier palette helps very well for shaky hands because it gives you that extra bit of weight to hang on to, and that can be very helpful. Um, in terms of... In terms of the brush, if you get a shaky hand on a brush, try a longer handled brush because the uh, opposing weight of it, any big projects for 2023 yet? Good question. But uh, sorry, the longer brush might remove a bit of the shakes from it because a shorter brush is more uh, susceptible to shakes. Uh, it doesn't have to be a heavier brush, but a longer brush. If you get really bad shakes, put a little weight on the end of the brush and that'll make the other end stabilize a little bit. That should work for you. Um, depending on what sort of shakes you've got and how bad, those tips might help. Um, sorry, projects for 2023. Um, I've got a couple of projects on the go that I'm pretty excited about. Um, lots of little projects, nothing big. Uh, one of the things I want to get done is I want to get the online store on the website sorted properly. Um, a lot of people, and I'm really sorry, guys, have been reaching out asking for prints and merchandise and T-shirts, and I've been like, yeah, I'll get there, and I haven't got there. And it's a little unfair of me to try and dispense art, no, sorry, to try and share art with you guys and then not make it available to you in an affordable way because the art's, art's expensive. And um, But you don't have to have the physical art. There's other things you can have, like the prints, and you know you can capture all that love and energy without having the um, larger price ticket if it's not if it's not something you can afford right now. Some people have families, they have kids, and maybe you can't afford to embellish your walls with artwork, but you can afford a print, and so you can still be a part of things. And so, putting it on the website is one of the things I want to work on. Make sure that it's all easy and simple for people to be a part of it. Um, so, yeah, so basically the big project next year is to make art more available. So I never liked the idea of art only being available to people with pockets that can afford it. I wanted art to be available to everyone in a way that everyone could be a part of it. Um, and so that's, the, that's probably the big overarching passive project for 2023. Um, do you draw also? No, not really. I do a little bit of charcoal. A little bit of charcoal, not a whole lot. Um, but uh, 
typically I just use a charcoal as to start with some guiding lines. Um, and then I go straight to paint. Paint's where I thrive. I do well with colour. Colour's my thing. Um, some people, yeah, I know, I know. Um, usually we have Lucy here, so, or Cheryl, but, you know, these people have New Year's events to get to, so it is what it is. Now, I don't, don't worry guys, I'm not going to block anyone, but anyone who gets too excited, I'll just give a little, just a little mute, just a little mute, so you can still be here, but you'll lose the ability to dock, and that's all good. And if I mute someone accidentally who wasn't being naughty, but they were just trying to have some fun, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but we've got to keep it PG to a degree. Was it R? Give, give me like an R13 rating. Um, that's a weird comment, Alyssa. We're not going to lick the painting. This is oil paint. This is toxic. Don't you care about me? This is rough. Um... Greetings from Los Angeles. Welcome. And what's that? You got a cool little symbol there. Radamets. I like your little symbol. That's cool. When I wake up, well, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, You've heard me say it once, guys. I will say it again. I'm sorry to bore you if you've heard it multiple times the stream, but it's important that I say it. Otherwise, people won't know. So, if you like the stream, you can share it. You can follow me here. You can jump into my bio. You can follow me on Instagram in the bio. You can find the long versions of these painting sessions on YouTube, which is also in the bio. If you like commissions, you can find those on all those same things. You can contact me wherever you like. You can contact me via the website. You can do it however you like. Um, or you can completely ignore me, which I'd also love you to do because you're your own person and you should live however you want to live. And if you completely ignore me, you can hang out here and keep painting with me. That's all the things. I hope that made sense. I didn't yarn too fast. Martin, I am enjoying the colour of this one. The colour is good. Any tips for someone who wants to become a professional artist but has no portfolio? Um, hmm. um, the first thing we'd do, you need money to start with, so you need a job. Um, it won't be art to start with. Art won't pay for a long time. Try and get a job with just enough hours or that'll allow you to pay your bills so then you can focus the rest of your time on uh, 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 the rest of your time on making your art and then find a way to really enjoy your art. If you don't enjoy your art, then you've got a job which is taking your energy, um, life which is taking your energy, and then you've got, uh, then you've got your art which is taking your energy. Let your art be the thing that rejuvenates you. So make art the thing that you're ready to go to as your escape to actually rejuvenate you for your job and your life and your family and your loved ones. Um, like a battery. Art needs to be your battery. Find a way to make it that. And that way, once you pay your bills from your job, you can go to your art and it won't exhaust you further. It'll recharge you. You can make your art and slowly work on making that portfolio. That's the, uh, that's the key. Yeah. But as long as the art isn't, art can't drain you. If you're working a job or ready to pay your bills and you're trying to make your portfolio as an artist, <laughs> thanks, stud guy, studio guy, stud guy, um, you're trying to make your portfolio as an artist, then art has to be your battery, not your drainer. That's really important. Um, and there was a comment there about customization. Of course, we can customize it. Um, it's really important that the art's going on the wall in your house that you love it. And yes, a lot of people do want to have artwork. They say, just go wild, do whatever. I want to see however you do it. Um, and that's that's fantastic. They want that random nature. They want that wildness. They want that crazy uh, option. But um, some people go, look, my house is blue. I would prefer we work to that color palette or I would prefer that we accentuate certain features within a painting or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. 
So we can definitely do that. So customization is a big part of it. It's, yeah, it's not just something we do especially for a few paintings. It's something we do all the time. Um, but do you ever go on art shows and sell your art in person? Um, look, everyone's different. You can do your art however you want to do it. Some people do a really good job in person because that's the best way to actually explain their artwork. A lot of detailed pieces do really, really, really good in, um, in art shows because people can go up to them and study them and really get a connection with them. Um, for a stream like this, though, if you do really detailed artwork, it won't be as great because the camera is so small, you don't get a chance to really uh, accentuate what's great about your art. Um, mm. For detailed art, a website's fantastic because you can zoom in on the picture and appreciate those really fine aspects that you've worked on. Um, not all art's 2D. If it's 3D, you definitely need a show because if it's 3D, nothing from a digital screen is going to do it justice. You need to get it in front of people. Um, <clears throat> and you're like, well, I don't know where an art show is. Farmer's market, great place to start. Surely there's a local farmer's market near you. Get your 3D art in front of people um, and, and get people excited about it. Um, if you're excited about it, then other people will be too. And you're like, but they aren't. Well, are you actually excited about it? Do you love what you're making? Are you putting love into what you're making? Surely people. Uh, he drank the paint. No, 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 that was a uh, bottle of water. So I was just hydrating. Hydration's important. Um, hey, so are you Kiwi? Yes, I am a Kiwi. So this is Tauranga, New Zealand. I'm a Kiwi. I'm painting in a garage studio. I love this little garage studio. Um, and I'm painting inside today rather than out in nature because, bada bing bong bong, I get hay fever really badly. So, yeah. Um, I do pet portraits and yes, love animals. Perfect, perfect. So what's cool about that is you love what you're painting, um, you've got a niche that you like, and you know what's really cool about that? From a business point of view, people love pets, and if you love your pet, getting a portrait of your pet, it's pretty special. It's pretty special. Um, so kudos to you. That's a, that's a cool niche. But... Um, the key to it too, though, guys, is don't let, don't become what people, what you think people want. You, you, it sounds rude to say it, but you don't know what people want from you. Um, don't become what you think they want. Be you, because people do just want you to be you. Um, Self-portraits, I've never done a self-portrait before. I've always done other people. Um, I prefer to capture other people more than I prefer to just paint myself. Um, but I could do it. We could absolutely do it. Um, it feels amazing to give something to honour their pets. I agree. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon. Here we go. Making good ground. Um, we'll hang out here for another... What time is it now? 11 o'clock. Ooh, we might have to call it quit shortly. Hola from Maui, Sebastian. Can't wait for my painting from you. Cheers, Steve. And also, Steve, I love the profile picture. I love it. <laughs> um, and I was saying to everyone earlier that um, at the moment, over this holiday season, we're priority. That about, I'm prioritizing going live with you guys and hanging out um, rather than the reels. And I'm getting behind on my emails and things like that. But I thought if we're going to nail one thing, let's nail the actual, um, where the hammer meets the anvil, hanging out with you guys, actually painting live. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, 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 um. Yeah, so I'm sorry to everyone who's been hanging out for replies from me. I haven't been ghosting you. I've just been... Trying to keep on top of everything. <laughs> um, but obviously, now that we're over New Year's and we're past Christmas, I can start giving you all the attention that you should be getting. So that's the thing. Do you own hippie clothing? Uh, no. Typically, this is what I usually wear. All birds, because they're comfortable. Um, jeans. Uh, jeans are good. I like jeans. Hard wearing. And I like... Um, 
uh, collared shirts. Big fan of collared shirts. Why? Because actually, I've got a long neck, guys, and long necks look silly with round shirts here. So the collar makes my, yeah, everyone's got their own little things. <laughs> um, if you are having fun, though, guys, remember, you can leap on to my bio, TikTok, TikTok bio for Instagram handles, for YouTube handles, for all the things. I would love to see you in those places. If you miss the videos and you want to catch them because there's a particular piece of artwork that you're following, or if you just like, I don't know, maybe you play Call of Duty and I'm in the background there just yarning about painting, um, then uh, you can, 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 can follow me on YouTube for that. Um, so typically we're churning out at the moment, was it Simon? Simon Gardner, yeah, typically we're churning out one painting every, we should be doing this coming year, we want to be doing one painting every four days, roughly, will be the benchmark. So we want to be getting just under two a week done. If we get there, it'll be good. It'll be good. We'll see. We will see how we go. And of course, guys, all the support that you've all given me over the last couple of months since we've started streaming on TikTok has been phenomenal. I love each and every one of you. It's been a big shift to go from Reddit to TikTok, but uh, you guys have made it really fun, really easy, and really enjoyable. Um, that is Spyro. Yes, it is. Um, oh, look at that mole. What a nice mole. Do I have a mole? Probably have a mole. I've got lots of moles. Um, got paint on me as well, actually. Uh, let's go up here. Culture is like, oh, he has one button down. So he's... Aha! Yeah. Problem is, if you do the top one up, the whole thing stretches in. Looks, that's a bit... Uh, from the UK. No. I leave them all undone. That's my style. If you leave them all undone, it looks like you're more prepared to go, you know... If you have them all done up, it's like I'm heading out to have a drink or look cool. If they're all undone, it's like, hey, give me a shovel. I'm ready to dig a hole. You know, like not a figurative one, a literal hole. Um, and uh, I like that. I like giving off a vibe that at any given point you're ready to work. It's a good vibe to give off. Here we go. Good, 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 good. There we go. All right, guys. I've got another 22 minutes. 22 minutes. I'd say 22 minutes because at 11.30, I best get out there. I think everyone else will start to have woken up or have woken up already. And I should go entertain the New Year's guests. That's fair, right? I think that's fair. <laughs> Thanks, J-Lo. Appreciate that. It's a very mundane accent from where I'm from. Um, yeah. Very mundane. I'm going to buy your painting. You absolutely can. Uh, this one's not for sale just yet. It's not finished. But if you want this particular one, um, it ships in a very fancy box. I'll show you. Voila! This is its portfolio that it goes in. It's a predictive case. This one gets racked in like a... Uh, it gets wrapped in a paper which stops the paint from sticking to the paper so it protects it completely and then you wrap it in some fabric just to protect the whole thing like nicely and then it goes inside that box with a hanging mechanism and things like that um i am painting spyro so if that appeals to you and you'd love to have spyro on your wall um contact me on instagram or via the website the contact page and we can go from there um or if you've got a commission idea you can leap on on and on and on, um, all those same platforms, Instagram, the website, wherever, they're all in the bio, and get in touch with me, and we can make a plan, um, you can also find all the streams of this on YouTube, in the bio as well, I'm not Paul, but that's such a lovely gesture, I hope you look after yourself, and you have an amazing 2023, um, <laughs> where are we at? 
no, uh, 1109. Dum, 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 dum. Let me get back into this. There we go. There we go. And this. Here we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Sorry, there you guys, just putting a bit of paint on there. Uh, what, how much do your paints go for? Um, they're variable. There's a huge variation. These smaller ones are several hundred, and the larger ones, like Clint, are several thousand. So there's a huge variation, typically done off size. Um, canvases are the most expensive because canvases are um, need the most protection, protective boxes. These are done on acrylic surfaces or like uh, boards, so they're more hardy. So which means I can ship them thinner and they weigh less. Um, Jason, did you deliver the horse painting to the person yet? What they think of it? Um, I love that one. Jason, is that the one of the uh, lady kissing the horse or the two horses? The two horses that, up in, that is up in Auckland right now, and it's not quite finished. Um, the lady kissing the horse. I had someone in Victoria, Australia, um, who was after it, but I haven't spoken to them since just before Christmas. Um, so either they've changed their mind because they bought too many Christmas presents already, or uh, um, or the yeah, just having too much fun over the holidays. Who knows? But it's currently here at the moment, waiting. Um, Simon, two horses was gorgeous. Uh, yes, so that one's not finished just yet, but. Uh, I'm hope I'll have that one done hopefully before the 9th and that can go to its proud new owner in Auckland. Huge fan of that one. Um, you know Lewis and the Yakuza? I do not. I do not, but it sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. All right, guys. I can hear everyone yakking away in the main area so i better go be social and look after them and not be a bad host otherwise they might not come back next new year's they'll be like yo it was fun but Seb didn't spend any time with us he just spent the whole time painting um but what's good is we have found some time to paint we've spent some time together i've wished you all a very happy 2023 and i'll be back on your new year's day which will be tomorrow morning. We'll finish off this one. Most importantly, we've got a landscape painting that we're going to work on, which is going to be the um, the the castle with the, uh, the fields and the water and all the rest of it. So we're going to start that one from scratch tomorrow. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. Um, and we'll finish off Spyro. I was going to get him finished today. I talked too much. It's not finished. So a little bit more tomorrow, and we'll have that right where we want it. Um, yeah, a little bit more oils on that and it'll be done. Maybe, maybe acrylics. See how we feel. Um, happy new year to all of you. Um, 2023 is going to be a great year, guys. Um, you can have, um, make sure you set yourself some goals. Um, and like I say, don't set ultimatums. It's goal setting, not ultimatum setting. Only a Sith works in absolutes. Set yourself some fun goals that you can, uh, that have variable outcomes. So like to do better in something, not to reach something. And that way, if life gets in the way, it won't, you know, life gets in the way, guys. Set reasonable goals, have some fun. Um, this is Spyro. Um, it's not finished yet. If you're interested in it, reach out via Instagram, reach out via the website. We can have a conversation. Um, I do have to make prints of it though, because I want to give the print to Lucy. <laughs> if Lucy's still here, Happy New Year. That was a surprise. <laughs> um, and also, if you do want to follow on Instagram or on 
YouTube, that's all in the bio, and we can go from there. Never put acrylics on top of the oils, JD. Um, the oils have a way of rising to the top, and it can, be, it can mess up your painting. If you're doing very fine blending, that can absolutely happen, um, because oils will rise to the top in liquids. The effect's very mild. When you're laying on paint very thick, you should be okay. And if letting coats dry in between, you should also be okay. The mix of wet on wet, though, with a more impressionist style, don't you worry about that oil and uh, acrylic. You'll get away with it. You'll have some fun. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Until next time, look after yourselves, everyone. And uh, I will see you tomorrow morning to finish off this painting, to start a landscape painting. And we might add another one of those two into the mix. We'll see how we go. All the best, guys. Happy New Year. Enjoy 2023.